Hey guys, Colorado Camperman Brian here. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a review of the 100 watt Renogy portable solar panel with the waterproof charge controller. I'll put a link in the description in the video to where I purchased this on Amazon. Uh, I've had it just for a few days now, but I'm doing some boondocking out at the Ruby Mountain, Mountain Campground, just outside of Buena Vista, Colorado. And I've been relying on this thing for the last few days to keep my batteries charged and keep me going here. So uh, let's go ahead and, and get into the review. All right, so first off, when you get the solar panel from Amazon, it's gonna come in a box. It's gonna be a little bit bigger than this. And then it has styrofoam on every corner. I disposed of that when I got it. But uh, one reason I purchased this is it's got a pretty nice case that comes with it. And the handle is uh, spring loaded, which is built into the solar panel. So opening things on up, so your, your uh, panel folds in half. It's got these real nice latches. And then when you get it, it's gonna come with instructions. And then these are your alligator clips and cord. I believe that these are uh, 10 or 12 feet. They're pretty decent. And then these, they have these uh, style quick connects which hook up right here. Setup is very minimal on the solar panel and it's extremely easy to set up. So just taking a closer look at the panel, these are the legs that pop out that you can adjust the angle to. Everything comes hooked up uh, and pre-wired with the solar panel, which is super nice. These are the connectors that will connect into the alligator clips. And this goes to the charge controller. And again, I got the waterproof version one um, and the solar panels waterproof too. So that way, if you leave it out when it's raining and you're out camping and you're gone from your campsite, you don't have to worry about anything. Charge controller is on hinges. It's got some Velcro to kind of keep it in place. But what's nice about that is no matter what angle you have the solar panel set to, you can then read on the display what your statistics about your panel and battery are. Here's also all the, the numbers and statistics about the panel, which is listed in the Amazon description as well. And here's the alligator clips. Again, this is about 10 foot long. They do have a built-in fuse in here as well too. And they give you a little bag to keep it in. So setup took me a whole minute and a half. And uh, here's how I have it hooked up to my two deep cycle batteries, um, just with the alligator clips. And then I have it just right here. Here's the charge controller. So you can see how many amps you're bringing in. You can see the amp hours that you're giving your batteries and then the voltage of your batteries. When you set this up, you'll select what type of battery that you have as well so that the charge controller knows that. Again, this is on hinges. So no matter what your angle is, you can read this, which is really handy. And um, you'll also have probably another couple of feet here for the cord. So again, I only have it about 10 feet of the cable, but you could, there's probably another couple feet here to where you could really bring it out from uh, your camper, like if you're camped in the shade or something. About my only beef with the solar panel is the angle. To get it to a lower angle is a little bit of a challenge and it doesn't set up that easy in a lower angle, but it sets up real easy in an angle like this or steeper. As for the performance of the solar panel here, as I have it hooked up, I could be listening to my radio, cooking a meal, and having my exhaust fan on while charging uh, my, my cell phone or camera batteries or whatever. And this solar panel will definitely be maintaining a charge in the battery. If anything, it'd probably actually be uh, charging them still while I'm doing all that. So the performance of this is very nice and being able to set the proper angle really helps you make sure that you're bringing in the most amount of power possible. Um, so overall, I definitely would recommend this panel uh, to anybody out there looking for something like this. 
Uh, the performance is great. It's just under 300 bucks, so the price is pretty good. I know there's some cheaper ones out there, but this one is this one's really good. Uh, the case is also awesome too. I really like that. The charge controller is waterproof. The digital read on it is good, and the navigating through it is is really nice too. So, um, really, the only thing that's kind of a bummer again is. Uh, get into a lower angle which could honestly just be a uh, user error on my part because i've only had it for a couple of days but overall i definitely recommend the solar panel for sure so thank you guys for uh, checking out this video here consider subscribing to my channel to see more videos like this and i look forward to seeing you in the next video